the principles are similar. Now, what we're trying to emphasize here, as team participant, is that the physical security measures you put in place to secure Mr. President in the villa is to be inappropriate to put that risk. Physical security measures for a high security prison will be inappropriate for a school or market. So, therefore, physical security measures that are put in place are depending upon the installation you are protecting. Thank you. In participant, we are now going to look at various forms of physical security, starting with A, deterrent method. The goal of the Um, in, in this absence, in this absence, can you um, the issues that we intended to discuss? No. Let's discuss the agenda. No. Uh, well, I think the agenda is the need to see the escorts and discuss on issues with respect to MSS generally during this lockdown, and when they come back, how do they? you know, intend to move the society, even though we don't know when exactly this corona is going to be over. And um, what is even the, what are the ESCO up to? What are the area of challenges maybe? And what and what and what again do we need to put together before the resumption from the COVID-19 pandemic? Yes. I think that this is basically the agenda from our last meeting. Well, alhamdulillah, yes. Yes, because the other issues, I think uh, maybe we can take them on later. So, I will be in the Shaitan Rajim, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al Mursaleen. Sayyidina wa Nabiyina Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ba'da salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa alaykum wa salamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Stop, please, we cannot see you. Can you see me now? Yes. Can. Alhamdulillah. Can you see me now? No, sir. Yes. So, yeah, so, we can see you, sir. Um, you can see me, secretary. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> so, mashallah. Um, the what we have uh, discussed uh, during your absence. The advisory committee has met during this uh, Ramadan to review the, uh, the activities of MSS and the pending issues so far. Uh, the, the most important, uh, we've discussed about the last programs we held, that is the, the orientation program. We've also discussed the issue of the massages, that of the, uh, sorry, the new hostel, the new Dangote and, uh, and Sherwood, respect to Masjid. Yes, exactly. Uh, we, we also discussed about the sectarian issue on the way forward for the project committee. Uh, but by and large, why we felt that this meeting with you people is important, uh, a lot of issues were raised uh, concerning the, the, you know, concerning the issue of uh, uh, how to bring the ESCO together so that um, uh, there will be a very, as, as we come back, we have a very strong, um, because what we are sure is that once the session resumes, it's going to be fire on the mountain, everything is going to be so fast, and before you know it, it will be overwhelmed by a lot of issues. So we felt that let's discuss with you on existing problems 
and not pertaining to those issues I have discussed, but pertaining to even you, the ESCO yourself, how cohesive are you and uh, what is the relationship? Because uh, the general observation of the advisory committee is that there's no very strong cohesion among the ESCO. Uh, in particular, uh, particularly in terms of uh, organizing programs, we noticed that key officers are not working the way they should, particularly during this um, the last program. The attendance was very poor. Uh, I made himself confess that a lot of uh, have uh, not been have not been have not been putting on. Uh, uh, hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, observation, sir. If those of us that are listening, please, we may, um, we may mute our audio. If we want to talk, maybe to ask questions, that is why we unmute it, please, so that the sound at the background will not interfere with uh, the meeting. Okay. Also, only the chairman that is talking may leave his audio on, please. For, for some of us, let us unmute our audio. We can still hear the chairman. So that if we have yes, because I can hear some noise from, yeah. I think, is it from the other participants? There's some background noise. Yes, please. Um, can, can, can we unmute um, uh, our audio and leave only the chairman on, please? When we want to make a comment, then that is when we can now unmute it. Thank you very much. Okay, sir. Not it, sir. Oh, okay. I think it's, it's, it's better now, isn't it? Yes, sir. So, uh, I, I was making reference to uh, the, 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 last, the need for this discussion arises it, it arose as a result of the discussions we held during the meeting. Um, it is our own observation anyway, and we felt that uh, we should bring the ESCO to discuss about it. The, from, because we intend to sit with each of the ESCO uh, after this uh, interaction, we need to sit with the ESCO separately. For example, we would like to sit with the secretary, the da'awa chairman, uh the other key officers separately but for this but now we intend to have a joint interaction what is your own uh what what what, what would you say about this observation that some the some key offices of the esco are not really uh working the way they should and uh, we are afraid that by the time you resume if all these issues are not resolved then um uh, you may not be able to cope with the demand of the work because it's going to be fire on the mountain, it's going to be fire brigades uh, this time once the school resumes. So we want to solve this problem at least uh, to bring everybody on board to make sure that every ESCO is up to the task and is doing what he's supposed to do before uh, resumption. So that's the purpose of this uh, interaction. And uh, I hope maybe the ESCO should be able to speak their mind uh, sincerely, and they should be very frank about their own opinion. And uh, maybe they should, uh, we want to know if there are any problems or what are the reasons for all this uh, lack of, you know, some ESCOs not actually uh, putting in their best the way they should. So that is the, uh, the this is the purpose of this uh, interaction. Uh, so I hope, um, uh, we have a number of them around. I understand that we have only three of them, but uh, I hope uh, others will join. So please, uh, I can see the secretary raising his hand. And isn't it? No. Is it the, I said I can see the secretary raising his. It's, it's not the secretary, sir. Have you had my background information, what I have said? It's like secretary is not, uh, you see? Yeah, they can hear you. I'm doing it from my end, sir. OK, OK. So um, secretary, I hope you have had all my, uh, my background information and the reason for this uh, uh, 
interaction. So uh, I want you to respond, please. Uh, frankly, what is your opinion on this? Okay. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. So, um, first and foremost, I have heard what you have said and observation from the advisory committee. And it has been a very normal issue uh, for every administration at the starting point, uh, such kind of uh, lack of unity or moving on and off without proper direction. This is normal for every administration. Uh, <laughs> the beginning uh, stage, at, at the early stage, especially uh, administration like MSS and uh, administration where it is transitional. But uh, what you have observed is really, uh, it, it, this is a general problem, but uh, I don't know if you have indicated uh, or if you have had uh, a little bit complaint from the expos so that we should know the exact where the problem is. But this is normal for every administration at the early stage, especially where this administration came with a little with uh, this administration is a little bit different from other administration, where we have a combination of uh, postgraduate students and undergraduate students. And also the administration, uh, we, uh, the administration inherit, inherited uh, some challenges like issues of dealing with the school management where the school management has a different perception with the MSS all like two or three years uh, back. So that is why we have been facing this problem and it is also important that we should also address that issue. I really appreciate the way you have observed this uh, problem, but what I think is if, uh, I don't know if you have received a particular complaint from uh, an officer or from somebody amongst the students so that we should know uh, how to address the problem. But really what you have observed is really in the administration, I believe with this. And as you have said, the Amir also confessed that we have been facing uh, this problem. We have this problem actually. But I don't know, sir, yes, if you... Um, okay, yes. In fact, I, I think none of the ESCO actually uh, brought his complaint. It is, this is just our observation because, for example, during the orientation program, when I was there, I asked about the, the, the our officer uh, being almost, I can say, maybe his office supposed to be central in the organization of the orientation program. But uh, I asked of him and he's, he was not even around. And uh, I asked the relevant officer that I supposed to, to see handling the issue very well. Uh, so, and the Amir also, I think on one point has complained that uh, many of the escorts uh, are not forthcoming. I even asked of the sister because even for the sisters, I discovered that the mobilization was very poor. When I asked uh, of the sisters, they said even the secretary was not around, that she traveled somewhere. And uh, though the Amira was around, but uh, she also uh, there was complaint that the sisters are not uh, cooperating very well. So it's like, uh, that was why we felt that, let's know if there's any problem uh, so that, um, uh, we, I wish those officers are around because they will be able to tell us their mind. Uh, what we feel is that um, uh, every officer will be able to say his mind, why he is not, uh, those officers, particularly those offices where that we discover that they are not working or they are not functioning very well the way they are supposed to. Yes. So, um, okay. Alhamdulillah.
Yes, so you can respond. Okay, so with regard to the issue, as you said, you wish if uh, other experts are online so that they can express their feelings. I also wish uh, that also. But the thing is, from the orientation, from what you have observed, uh, is something uh, which I would like to confess, that uh, it has been a tradition, whenever there is a program, there should be a division of labor. And in a program, there should be uh, a, a committee that will handle the activities of the mic and there will be committee, the welfare committee and the other uh, organizing committees. And it has been a tradition, whenever orientation is being organized, it is majorly the work of the Dawa office. But also, I also did raise that complaint that from the Dawa office, they were complaining about lack of uh, uh, concern from the office of the Amir. And I also uh, raised an issue from the office of the Dawa. They, uh, they wanted to organize the program, but in trying to, uh, to do that, they fell uh, somewhere. But I also addressed to them that uh, this is not how it should be. There should be uh, teamwork from the Dawa office, uh, uh, from the Dawa office, and there should be also uh, helping hands from the other office. But we have that problem from the Dawa office uh, at the initial stage, and also the welfare committee. There is complaint from the office of the Amir, so I. I wanted to sit with the Amir to discuss about that issue. That is why you, you saw some, uh, uh, some lapses from the orientation program. But after that, we organized uh, during the uh, uh, mid-semester break. We were trying to organize entrepreneurship and digital uh, skill acquisition and other things, which we also uh, try to overcome the challenges we have had from the orientation and fix it uh, during the program. And, uh, and alhamdulillah, we have uh, uh, seen some improvement. But as you said, how I wish other officers are online so that they can express their feelings. And I, I, I wish Amir also is online so that he can respond to some of these uh, issues. Okay. Okay. Observation, sir. We didn't start this meeting on time. We have less than 10 minutes to go because what we are using of the Zoom is not the upgraded, we have, have not upgraded to Pro. So it is a free one which has maximum of 40 minutes and a little more minutes. So maybe in the event, maybe the meeting ends on ceremoniously, maybe we need to another meeting because the secretary is raising some fundamental issues. Yes. I guess you're the chairman. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Are you driving me? I'm driving. So I'm an officer. You'll be arrested. You. Another. I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. Chairman, are you there? Yes, I'm there. I'm there. I can hear you. German. Yeah, yes, actually, I, I, I was not really set to, so I didn't get the real issue of discussion. So I don't know how I can come in. I didn't really, I, I didn't really get the message from onset because I was trying to connect. I was trying to come into the car, so I missed the... Oh, okay, no, it's, um, you know, uh, uh, you were not around during our no, meeting. Chairman, sir, needless to repeat, sir, we have less than four minutes to go, and this uh, meeting is being recorded, and maybe the video record will be sent to the adversary group and also the group for the MSS for him to see. And uh, I think it's better okay. we make conclusion before the meeting ends unceremoniously. Okay, um, so I think in maybe let's try to conclude. Uh, the general conclusion, of course, um, is that um, the, the ESCO needs to mend their fences. 
uh, as we can observe, there is a serious uh, disconnect between the various offices. So there is need for a disconnect. Uh, there's need for a connection. They need to reconnect and close those gaps so that they will not have a problem as the school resumes. Uh, we hope the secretary uh, should be able to handle that very well. Uh, the issue of the, uh, particularly we are, more con we are very concerned with the, uh, the our office where we observe uh, some um, and then also for the sisters also uh, the this this time even though the Amira was the same Amira last year but this time we discover some uh, there's some issues I don't know particularly and we understand that the secretary uh, to the sisters has gotten married um, so that may affect the her performance so they should try to find means of uh, mending this uh, this, this, these issues. And not only that, there are other offices that uh, uh, you need to mend these fences. So, and as we said, we intend to meet with each officer uh, separately uh, so that uh, if it is the issue of uh, capacity or he has uh, any problem, let's understand his problem so that he can be able to perform efficiently. Uh, for the secretary, I learned that the secretary is uh, is around close by in Zaria. So if it is possible, we can see him uh, and put some things uh, uh, forward before the resumption. There are some letters that we want him to address, like um, the new administration, the MSS should have written, and uh, some other issues. So if the secretary is around, uh, I learned that he's close by. So if he can make himself available, that would be okay. Uh, I think these are the other issues, except if I have forgotten some, maybe Shaib, uh, Bala Shaib can add more, some of the... You, you, have said yes. it, you have said these are the major issues we discussed. We have one minute okay. to go, sir. Okay, fine. We have I, to go I want to just advise that another time can be fixed for the meeting, if it's possible. Yes. yes. When? Okay, so... Uh, you can discuss, Shaib Balag, you can discuss on the fixing of another meeting. Okay, maybe on the WhatsApp platform. Yes, yes. yes. It's okay, sir. Okay, okay Alhamdulillah. Yes. So, Secretary, um, thank you for, for the time. I think you are, you are the only one I'm seeing. I'm not seeing the others. I was seeing uh, Abdul Basit before, but I, I can't see him again. Well, German, whenever the meeting will do, I think we can discuss better. Yes, we shall. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah.